This is a demonstration of Faraday's law of induction. I hope you remember this demonstration because it's a very important one in the history of physics. What it demonstrates is that a changing magnetic flux through a coil of wire produces an EMF, namely a voltage, in that coil of wire and a current in the coil of wire. This is not something that's, uh, that people come across every day, but it's the basic principle behind uh, generators, the alternator in your car, um, etc. So we can generate electricity by changing the magnetic flux, the amount of magnetic field that penetrates a coil. So what I have here are three separate coils of wire, one with uh, very few windings, one with about double the number of windings, and one with approximately quadruple the original number of windings of wire in this coil. I also have a, and this is a galvanometer, it just measures the amount of current in the wire, er, in the coil. I also have a magnet, uh, north pole and south pole, I'm going to be inserting the magnet into each of these three coils of wire and we'll be watching the, the black needle here in order to, um, to demonstrate the presence of a current in these, in these wire loops. So starting with the small one, if I move the magnet into the wire loop, you saw that as the magnet was moving into the wire loop, the needle bumped up positive. But now the needle isn't moving at all. This is a very important bit of Faraday's law. There's only a current when there's a change in the magnetic flux. It doesn't care how much magnetic flux there is through the coil. Right now there's a lot. All that magnetic field is through the, 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 uh, the loop. What matters is when it's changing. So now I'm going to pull the magnet out of the coil and what you see is that while the magnet was leaving the coil of wire the current was negative so we get an opposite effect um, and we'll talk a lot more about that the the effect is proportional to the number of windings in the loop of wire so we should see a bigger effect through this loop and uh, finally for the, the third loop so we definitely saw uh, a bigger current, went all the way to the maximum and minimum, and then I think we'll, we actually pegged out here. Uh, it went beyond the maximum this uh, galvanometer will measure. But again, a changing magnetic flux in a loop of wire causes a current in the wire and um, that's Faraday's law of induction.